do all these anti-inflammatory plant foods actually have an impact on inflammatory disease mortality, though? A recent study out of Australia reported the results of following about 2,500 older adults and their diets for 15 years. During that time, about 200 died of inflammatory diseases, and so the researchers tried to calculate what it was about the diets of the survivors that seemed to help the most, and it was nuts. Half a walnut a day appeared to cut the risk of dying from inflammatory disease in about half. In the study, increasing the consumption of nuts by as little as 1.4 grams a day— that's about half the weight of a penny— was associated with a reduced 49% risk of dying from chronic inflammation-related diseases. That's like one almond a day. Fish consumption didn't seem to do a thing. Our data indicates a protective role of nuts, but not fish against inflammatory disease mortality. This may help explain why most studies done to date on those eating vegetarian or vegan uh, show significantly less inflammation in their bodies compared to meat eaters. Uh, there have been a dozen studies so far. Uh, four showed no significant difference, and eight showed significantly less inflammatory markers in those eating vegetarian. Here's the latest. A, a vegetarian diet was associated with lower inflammation levels, lower levels of C-reactive protein, uh, which is in accordance with research showing vegetarians have a lower risk of heart disease and improved antioxidant and inflammatory status.